Exploratory F, Creating Content, Module Exemplars for Canvas Academy, Level 0. In this video, I am bringing you several module exemplars from GCISD. Notice the top right of each image credits the awesome teacher, as well as what they teach and what campus. You will notice Peter Doyle's fifth grade science class at Cannon Elementary. He's organizing his modules by unit, as well as several other important topics like star review, science I can activities, etc. Here is an example of several of his modules expanded. You will notice in unit three, he has a unit three vocab term link that opens in a new tab and directs them to a slideshow with vocabulary terms. He also has attachments for probes, is it melting, which is a PDF. In unit seven, he has another unit seven vocabulary term linked slideshow, as well as an assignment on traits investigation. And then notice invasive species design challenge, he has another link as well as an assignment note catcher. This is one way to organize your modules according to unit. Please take a look at Popa Salazar's high school math classroom at Colleyville Heritage High. Notice how Mrs. Salazar organizes her modules according to units as well. Here is her unit five solving quadratic equations and inequalities unit expanded. Notice how she starts each unit with a overview as well as vocab. And notice Mrs. Salazar taking advantage of the text headers, unit five packet, 5.1 factoring, 5.2 simplifying radicals. This allows her to stay organized as well as indenting certain assignments, quizzes, or pages. I particularly love this example because Mrs. Salazar utilizes text headers, the indentation features, as well as great naming conventions, and she's got a wide variety of Canvas items, such as pages, quizzes, and assignments. My next example is Miss Amy Elliott, a high school ELA teacher at Grapevine High. She also likes to organize her modules according to units. Notice the dates next to the unit which is a great habit to get into when naming your modules. Here is an example of her unit two modules expanded. Notice how she has two separate unit two modules. You can group your modules however you would like. Once again, notice the dates, week five, 1114 to 1118, absolute power. Week four, 117 to 1111, absolute power. I also love that Amy utilizes assignments as well as pages and even quizzes. Our next example is Helen Torres, a foreign language teacher at Colleyville Heritage High. Notice how Ms. Torres organizes her modules again according to lesson or unit. I expanded her unit one module Notice the dates, 22nd and 23rd of September, 26th and 27th of September. And I even love that Ms. Torres has a discussion. Carrie Kester, social studies teacher at Heritage Middle School. Notice how only unit nine and unit 10 modules are showing because she has unpublished or hidden the other modules from student view. This is a great habit to get into as well. And I also love that Mrs. Kester has her most recent unit on top. Notice unit 10 is on top of unit nine, preventing the students from scrolling down to find the most current module. I also love that her naming conventions include the dates as well as the unit name. Here is an example of the unit nine module expanded. This is the first module we are seeing in which she is utilizing text headers to differentiate according to date. So this is week one, April 3rd to April 7th. Notice how I have a screenshot of her overview. 
And then she has her module split up using text headers by date, Monday, April 3rd, Tuesday, April 4th, and so on. Utilizing great naming conventions, including the day of the week, as well as the month and the day, keep students organized. Mrs. Kester has her entire Unit 9 in one module. So like I said, you can break up your modules however you see fit. Moving on with Jeannie Pav, AVID teacher from Colleyville Middle. Notice how this course is split up by weeks. I love that Mrs. Pav is utilizing four nine weeks, three nine weeks, etc., in order to keep her kids on track with the grading cycle. Notice how she also includes the month as well as the date. Here is her week three module expanded. Notice how she also utilizes the text headers Monday, April 3rd, with a little title of what to expect for the day. I have pulled out a little screenshot of her checklist, what to do today. And last but not least, notice Mr. Ryan Wapakechi, fifth grade teacher at Glen Hope Elementary. He is organizing his modules according to topic. Notice how he has music for focus, talent show and graduation quote, how to build a fantasy world map. Here is an example of his May 8th to May 12th module. So he has a combination of topic titles as well as dated modules. I love that this module is organized by day of the week. Notice how he takes advantage of indentations for Wednesday and then indents a second time for Thursday. I pulled a screenshot out of his Monday self-reflection poem in which he has an assignment that the students will enter a text entry box. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you enjoyed our awesome GCISD teacher examples of modules in Canvas.